New here at 6, a defender's investigation into school bus safety as thousands of students get ready for a new school year. This year, the federal government recommending that all new buses be equipped with seatbelts. And to help with that, the state of North Carolina is offering a program that allows districts to replace their school buses with new ones complete with seatbelts. And the state would fully cover the cost. But our team finding only one of our local districts has taken advantage of that program. NBC Charlotte defender Nathan Morbido live at 6. Nathan, you are now hearing that CMS might actually be looking into this program. It's surprising more districts haven't followed Roanne Salisbury's lead. This district, along with about 14 others across the state of North Carolina, over the last several years took advantage of a statewide program that allows districts to replace their older school buses when it's time with new ones for free, complete with seatbelts. When you watch this video, you understand why some districts just aren't taking any chances. When you're responsible for student safety to and from school, it was a no-brainer for us. The rollover crash test showing the scary difference between buses without seatbelts and those with them. While rollovers are rare, the consequences can be deadly, which also leaves you wondering why so many other districts aren't using seatbelts, especially when you consider the federal government is now making a major policy shift urging districts to buy only buses with seatbelts from now on. And when you consider there's already a state seatbelt program that covers the cost when buses are due for replacement. We're certainly open to that idea and whatever we can do to make the buses safer for kids. We asked Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools, home to more than 1,000 buses, why it's not taking advantage of the state program. The new transportation director told us CMS is now seeking feedback from the districts already participating and looking for recommendations from the state and local school board. If it is available for free, certainly we're going to, to work with the you know, Department of Public Instruction to figure that out. If we can do it, we're certainly open to it. State law does not require seat belts. Nationwide, some safety experts have criticized the idea, saying buses are already designed to protect children. Worried kids would get trapped in an emergency. Others arguing eventually students stop buckling up anyhow. The seatbelt just is an extra added layer of safety. Regardless, Roanne Salisbury became one of the first in North Carolina to take advantage of the seatbelts, already replacing almost a quarter of its fleet, plus three activity buses. Consider this. The U.S. Department of Transportation says even without seatbelts, students are 70 times more likely to arrive at school safe when they ride the bus rather than a car. I'm Nathan Morabito for NBC Charlotte.